The family of Jermaine Jones is still in a state of shock tonight. The two-year-old went missing from his Clinton County home on Monday, and after a massive search, a dive team found him drowned in the Looking Glass River on Tuesday. Darlin Horn spoke with some of them today. She is here for you now with more from two of his relatives and others paying their respects to the family. Darlin. That's right, Sherry and Siobhan. I spoke with Jermaine's aunt this morning who wanted our viewers to know that they're holding up as best as they can. I also met up with one of Jermaine's older cousins. She says today she's very sad but is reflecting on all the great moments she got to share with him. I woke up a bunch of times in the middle of the night thinking I was late to look for him again. Um, and then it, you know, came to me that there's no more looking for him, so... Brookell Miller says despite the tears she's cried in the past 48 hours, it brings her peace thinking of the moment she had with her little cousin, who she says called her auntie. I would love more, but I'm grateful for the ones we did share. But she says the sadness is still there since finding out two-year-old Jermaine Jones drowned in a river near the home he walked away from on Monday. It's just a lot. I'm feeling numb, which I think right now is best case scenario. These are some of the videos Miller says brings her joy through this painful time. I've been looking through them all night. All he does is make his little coos and laugh nonstop. He would run around for no reason, just like giggling. Miller is related to the child's father. She says he and everyone else are doing their best. I can't imagine being in their shoes, um, especially after seeing everybody come together to help look for him. It was so hopeful and then to get that news was just gut-wrenching. An aunt on the mother's side of the family also spoke to Six News. She wants people to know that the babysitter who was watching Jermaine when he left the home is a family member and that the teen lives with the mother. The community support has been strong from the beginning. Hundreds came out to help look for Jermaine and today the Grand Ledge superintendent issued a statement offering counseling to anyone in the school district who needs it. Miller says she did not expect the outpouring of love but says she's more than thankful. It's not the outcome we wanted of course but the support does feel good. If you would like to help Jermaine's family, they did provide us with a GoFundMe link for funeral ex expenses. That can be found at WLNS.com. Sherry Siobhan. All right, Darlene, thank you.